I'm Tiffany Young for ID8 TV, and I'm here with Hannibal Taboo. Mm -hmm. And we're here at the booth, and we're here to talk about your new uh, comic book that you wrote. Um, so many. <laughs> let's, uh, tell us by starting, like, where did you get the inspiration for this? Well, I practice ancient Egyptian spirituality, so when I started working with Robert, my creative partner, I was able to bring a lot of things that he didn't know about the spiritual past, specific elements to it that I was able to bring into it. Plus, we both live in Los Angeles, we both have an understanding of the geography, so we were able to really bring Menthu and the super superheroics there and the property damage to life in a way that uh, we both were very happy with. Tell me a little bit more about the story and, and the characters. Well, in the story, an angel gets jealous of the idea of an uh, ancient Egyptian person bringing forth that spirituality into the city of angels. So he makes a deal with one of his old friends from before the fall to attack this guy, and then all heck breaks loose. Gotcha, gotcha. And uh, how did you get your start in comic books? Uh, my official start was the Top Cow Talent Hunt, which uh, I won in 2012. There were 11,000 stories submitted and three won, and I was one of those. Uh, and that turned into Artifacts number 35 for Top Cow and Image. I was very grateful to Matt Hawkins and everybody there for that. Uh, but I really started way back farther than that with Eric Stevenson, who is now the head hencho, honcho of Image Comics. He, uh, I hired him to be the editor at Next Planet Over, this dot com, back in the dot com days. And uh, he said, hey, have you ever thought about writing comics? I'm like, I don't know, I, uh, maybe. I write science fiction novels, and I'd been writing journalism professionally since 92. So. Everything kind of came together for an overnight success of, what, 12 years or something? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, we were talking earlier and, and about your early career versus where you're at right now. And um, talk about that journey a little bit, like where you started and like some of the obstacles that you overcame and, and to where you're at now and what you learned about that. There were a lot of times when I thought I could do everything myself and I was like, I'm going to pay the artists and I'm going to do this and I'm going to take care of that. But I've wasted $800 on artists who had existential crises and disappeared off to Idaho and all kinds of craziness. So now I'm trying to follow what I call the George Clooney model. I'll do something for a company, something for myself, and back and forth so I can let them help build my name and my brand up while I'm providing value to them as well, and then do more smaller passion projects like Menthu or like Project Wildfire, which is on my shirt, which allow me to speak to audiences that normally I wouldn't be able to reach in that way. I love that. So these projects that you're working on, um, what are you hoping to, um, where would you like to see it go, especially being at a place like Comic-Con and like you have a lot of reach and a lot of people are, are finding out about your work and stuff. Um, where would you like to see it go and, and where can we find out about these projects? All right, well, where I'd like to see it go, like, because I, I have a project out right now, Irrational Numbers with Wonderman Comics. It's a vampire supernatural history book. And I would like to see more works of depth like that or like say for instance Spencer and Locke for Action Lab or whatever I'd like to see works or Stranger Comics where also with them I've done some fantasy novels I'd like to see a deeper discourse to see works like that be get more of the regard of the you know Nazi Captain America sort of ridiculousness that we see and elevate the discourse because I think a lot of times we're shouting past each other and not really talking to each other because we don't understand and books like Irrational Numbers or the new book that we're doing in December, Scoundrel from Wonderman Comics, I think they really want to change the way we look at the discussions. And I, I believe that's important for us as a people. Everything that I do can be found at operative.net, which is the operative network, is our studio site. Robert Roach is there, I'm there. Quinn McGowan, the artist who did this, uh, is there. Ray Anthony Height from Midnight Tiger. Uh, it's a place where we can collectively work together to make each other better and offer our services to the bigger companies. Because like Ray's on X-Men Blue, he did a couple issues for Marvel with that recently. And we're just trying to raise our profile and put out quality work. That's so great. And and I notice like the diversity of your characters. I mean, it's very unique. Not only like your stories, that mm -hmm. they're just like those kind of stories that make you think. Mm -hmm. And like, talk more about your characters. Like why you decided to, to have such a broad range of like diverse characters. Well, I was on the Diversity in Comics panel with Joe Illich and Vince Hernandez from Aspen yesterday, and I said I'd like to make comics that are at least as diverse as the crowd that came to see us, because that's the world that we live in. That's the world that reflects. I have two daughters. I want them to be able to see themselves in comics, so when I have a character like FaZe, they say, oh my God, I can have natural hair, and I can still kick butt and go out and do what I have to do. Those things are really important to me, and I, I'm able to infuse that humanity into characters, even when I'm dealing with in Irrational Numbers, Pythagoras, an ancient mathematician. I'm able to talk about his family. I'm able to talk about the things that are important. And these are universal constants. I have families. You have families. And these things 
cross lines no matter what ethnicity or, or where we live in the world. And those kind of universal constants, I think, are the thing. I think are the things that bind us together. Right, definitely. I think you're a great example of like just how how far comics can reach people, I isn't hope it? So. I hope In so. so many ways, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, I believe because I learned I learned the speed of light was 186,000 miles per hour by reading Doctor Solar. Wow. I learned the first French I learned from Iron Man. So yeah. there's ways to communicate higher ideas through every medium. Incredible. Thank you so much for sharing your story and you're very inspiring and thank, thank you for you. giving back to the community too. I know you take a lot of time to do that and you're a very busy person and we appreciate that. I, I love doing it because I always figure a kid I can help in a high school because I spoke at Verbum Day in Los Angeles, that's a kid that won't be holding up my daughters in a supermarket parking lot one day. So, so true. Changing the community, changing the world. Yes ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thanks. Tiffany Young for ID8 TV.